Howdy y'all, this is Texas Gaming Industries here, and welcome to episode 24, part 9 of my Let's Play at Transport Fever 2. In the previous episode, we began to operate deliveries of coal and iron ore to be delivered to the steel mill here in St. Louis, as well as delivering oil to be processed, well, sugar cane to be processed into oil. And in this episode, we're going to continue on with providing some new services outside of the town of Murray. Now, you might be wondering how these tracks came into being. Well, there was a failed recording yet again. My recording did not go through, and I had to basically... Well, the camera wasn't recording the entirety of the thing, so... Yeah. But on the plus side, our expansion northwards into uh, Chicago is finally done. Which means now we can operate a new express train on the eastern part of the map. Let's see... New Orleans Central Station, Hattiesburg, Murray, Evansville, Kankakee, Chicago Union Terminal, and then back the same way. Alright, hopefully this is the... Oh. I have to change some of the positions of the, pla the platform positions. Lower Evansville, platform one. Oh, wait. There we go. Much better. Okay, Kankakee West. We go and Chicago Union on track one. This will be Express Train B Eastern Route. And let's see, what vehicle do I need for this new service? Hmm. Also, by the way, I replaced the old engine depot with a new roundhouse, basically. That way, all of my locomotives can be stored very efficiently. Let's see. Hmm. Let's get a coal burning 440. Let's see. Which ones do I already have? Okay, number 110 is on one of the local trains. 110, 48. And 96. Let's see. Is there any other train that has a, what are these black 440s? J. Okay. Numbers 48, 110, 96. Let's see. I think I haven't done number 80 yet. So, let's see. Recolorable coach. Give it a shade of red. And place down an observation car. Fifty-four million dollars. But hopefully I'll be able to compete effectively with the main line with the other railroad with this new express service. Let's see, six hundred and two hundred and eighty million dollars. Let's purchase. Put it on the eastern route. Okay. Now let's see. Now we gotta schedule a new freight service. Evansville Tobacco Farm. You will travel to Evansville. Well, to Memphis. And unload on track 5. 
you'll be known as Freight Train M, which will be Tobacco Lee. All right. And with the arrival of cigars now being produced, we can now basically start delivering some to Jonesboro. This will be known as Freight Train N, which will be carrying cigars. I'll have to get some equipment to haul those new services. Let's see. We'll get another mogul and several of these gondolas to pick up the loads of tobacco leaves. We'll put it at 420 as usual. Have a caboose. 15.2 million. We'll just basically put it up to 300 million. Ugh, this is gonna be so expensive. Alright, we'll put it to work on the tobacco leaves. And now we'll need one of these coal burning 4460s to be in charge. We'll use number 59. Actually, I need to check. Let's see. I already got foodstuffs done with one of the other engines. Let's see. I don't think I actually used any of the coal burning ones. Maybe I'm not so sure. I'll just get number 62 and have a couple of these fox cars to be picked up to fill up with uh, cigars and take it down to, well, Jonesboro. Caboose, 14.4.7. Yeah, 14.7, and put it to work on the tobacco, on the cigar train. We also have to get a new coal train schedule, too. We'll connect the Evansville coal mine there and deliver it here into St. Louis. You will drop it off on track four. Full load, 10 minutes, freight, train, L2, coal. You'll be full up with coal, and a 260 mogul will handle it with some B&O pothoppers. Actually, let's see. Where is that train carrying iron ore? Ah, here we go. Okay, I need about 36.8 or 38.6. I don't know. I'm running my company into the ground with so much of these vehicle purchases, as well as laying down my tracks. Ay. If I don't make enough money soon, my company will be in really big trouble. All right. Train K, iron ore, clone it, put it on coal train L2. All right. Now we have to also get started on getting passengers delivered to the towns. Oh, dang it. I'll have to change it to Station Road. And this will be known as Evansville. Let's see. This will be known as Bus Service L. Purchase a pair of these stage coaches. Now then, we'll also have to get a, a service done here. Connect the town and the station in the yard and the area of Kankakee. This will be bus service M. 
this will be yellow, of course, and I'll need a pair of buses, a pair of stagecoaches to operate. Now then, what else? Well, we could also start delivering lumber here as well, but it will only be for a limited time. Well, hmm, Ooh, this is not going to be easy. Well, there is a stone quarry that we have just connected to, so I'm pretty sure a full delivery of stone could basically propel this to level 2. But we gotta, but this train better move fast. Place a signal there. And now I'll have to set up another bus route here. All right. Let's see. Bus service N. Yellow it up, and then we'll purchase six more of these stagecoaches. And put them to work on that route. So now all the stations that I have connected to now have access to the outside world. I should also get a train to deliver loads of corn as well. There's another corn farm down here, which I think could be useful for transporting to a local farm. But for now, let's basically just deliver it down here into, well, New Orleans. This will be freight train O, which will be one. Oh wait, I already have a corn train, so it's G two. I'll have to get another look. Of, I'll have to get another mogul and several of these gondolas for the service. I'll have to copy the one that I used for the first great for the first corn train. This train cost me about 15.2 million. Let's put it up to like 375 million. All right. Let's just copy that freight train and put it to work on that on the on G2. Now corn will be picked up and brought down that way. But we can also now start delivering loads of peanuts and sweet potatoes to the food factory here in Chicago. We'll have to build a bit of a separate freight line for that. Let's see. Food will be delivered to Kankakee and Juliet by road. So will Rockford, so that's three. Let's see, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm, this is going to be a little bit tricky. Also, I want to basically level the land around here just a bit for my freight station. Because the ground is just too darn narrow. Let's just put down about a six station platform here. At least there will be platforms to, the un to unload most of my commodities. There we go. Chicago Sightings. That's a pretty good name. Now then, we'll have to also find a way to cross over this track over my rival's railroad. Well, thankfully, though, there is a way I could do this by building a tunnel underneath them. But first of all, I gotta get the sightings for the food processing plant constructed first. Because if I don't have any tracks connecting to this industry, none of the cargo will go there. And I will just have an error saying train cannot reach station. Let's see. 
we'll do that. And that. Then we'll just cross this over. Turn this into a double slip switch. Convert this into another type of tunnel. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see if we can basically do something like this. Alright, that should basically complete the new freight line into the food processing plant. We better put down some signals to let trains know if the station coming into the station is clear or not. And now we need to set up a new set of freight trains to deliver those commodities. First one is peanuts. You'll pick them up from the Jackson branch and deliver them here to Chicago. You will be unloading them on track 6. We'll load 10 minutes. This will be known as Freight Train O, which will be carrying peanuts. And then I'll need another. And the other train will be known as Freight Train P, which will be picking up sweet potatoes from the farm near Grenda. And you'll be delivering them here to Chicago on track 5. Full load, 10 minutes. Freight train P, sweet potatoes. We'll just deliver sweet potatoes and peanuts for now. We'll think about delivering meat later. But as for now, we'll need to get some new equipment. Time for another spelling spell. Whoopee. Okay, we'll need to carry about... These cars can carry both potato and peanuts and sweet potatoes, so it's going to cost a bit of an arm and a leg to acquire both. And let's see, I'll need one caboose, and I'll need a pair of these, so I need about $30.4 million. I have a feeling that this is going to be so darn expensive. Okay, $400 million. That is my absolute limit. I am not going to invest any more money into my company or take out a loan until I earn enough money to basically cover most of it back. But it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I mean, if I have transported over 16,000 units of cargo and there were 17,000 passengers, I'm pretty sure my company should be in good shape. There's actually people wanting to travel on the eastern route rather than basically the middle one. How odd. But yeah, my new service is starting to look pretty, pretty smooth. I actually realized that I haven't placed any whistle posts at some of my crossings along the main line. And I also have to basically level the ground a bit. And I also need to add a small elevated gate tower, because this was way, 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 way before the advent of automatic crossing signals. So I need to make sure that everybody is safe from the crossings, after all. Let me see. Any other places? Oh, right. Oh, I actually placed one already. Let's see. Any other locations? No road crossings on the way up, except for that bridge. So... Everything looks A-OK -okay for now. Corn is being produced. Coal is being produced. Tobacco is up and running. So is peanuts. And sweet potatoes. Safe to say, my company is going to do a lot better now with all this new equipment. And with all these bonifications. We have a company score of 40 at last. But we still have the old antique trolleys. I don't think we'll have enough time to deliver stone, lumber, or steel to the to the fairground, so we missed out on two million dollars. Great. And I wasted a lot of my money on building this expensive sidetrack.
Oh, well. But hey, at least my people are going to start using my railroad more pretty soon. Over 200 units of tobacco leaves are waiting to be picked up. My express train is coming through. My coal train is heading towards the mine. Let's see. No coal or steel iron ore have been delivered yet. Speaking of which, where is my train carrying the coal? Oh, there it is. It's still lumbering along at a slow 20 miles an hour. Speaking of which, has this... What about the sugar cane that's been delivered? Oh! Dang, it seems like the whole commodity for that train got reset to peanuts. So I lost all of that sugar cane. Oh, joy. However, there's 15 passengers riding on it, so that's a bit of an improvement. Ugh. But I think that will basically do it for this episode, guys. So, if you enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play Transport Beaver 2, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe at Texas Gaming Industries for new video uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on my on-site schedule. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!